So turn with me to Psalm chapter 11. Umaya po natin ang salita ng Panginoon sa Psalms. Uh, Psalm 11. Uh, I praise and thank the Lord that I went to that seminar because uh, we talked about uh, the life of Peter and uh, becoming the, the, the theme of the uh, the whole seminar was about, uh, in one word, Chesop. Okay? And the longer theme is becoming the masterpiece God wants you to be. And there are six parts, six, six sessions of that seminar that I wanted to teach in six weeks. I am supposed to start that today, but because of what is happening, the Lord led me to this chapter, Psalms 11. And so, let us go there. Uh, the, uh, the seminar sessions can wait until uh, uh, the Lord will tell us to do so. Okay? Are you there with me? Psalms 11. Sabi po sa Psalm 11, In the Lord I take refuge. Sa Panginoon, ako ay nangangadlong. How then can you say to me, Bakit mo masasabi sa amin, flee like a bird to your mountain. Ikaw ay uh, pumayo katulad ng isang ibon sa iyong mundo. For look, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in His holy temple. The Lord is on His heavenly throne. Her, he observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, He hates with a passion. On the wicked, He will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous, he loves justice. The upright will see his rights. May the Lord add more blessing upon the reading of his word. Today, I, I'd, li I'd like to share with you a title that is very appropriate in our times. When things fall apart. There are many occasions in our lives, and it's not, it is not just because we are experiencing uh, turmoil in Hong Kong that things are falling apart. Sabi nga ng isang uh, uh, posting sa Facebook, hindi mo na naramdaman ang uh, uh, lindol dahil ang buhay mo ay disaster na. <laughs> and, <laughs> hallelujah. There are many occasions in our lives when our lives uh, when everything around us seems to fall apart. Maybe uh, your family is falling apart. In many occasions, uh, uh, parang normal na sa amin na nakakarinig ng mga problema uh, uh, sa Pilipinas. Uh, uh, normal na sa akin ang makarinig ng isang uh, kapatid na uh, magsusumbong na kanilang uh, uh, kalagayan sa kanilang pamilya. It has been a normal part of our ministry to hear uh, lives that are falling apart. Many times, uh, and especially this week, there will be a lot of terminations because uh, employers are uh, wary of them uh, uh, themselves. Some are leaving Hong Kong, going to uh, Shenzhen and uh, many other places. And there is this one Filipina that says, Ayaw kong umunta sa Shenzhen. And it is our first time to be in Hong Kong. And mag-determinate na lang daw siya. And so, napakalami po mga pangyayari sa buhay natin na para bang gumuguho ang ating mundo. And when those times comes, uh, hindi natin alam kung anong ating gagawin. And so today, we are going to uh, uh, answer that uh, situation. When things fall apart, what can the righteous do? Ano ang uh, natin gawin? And uh, alam nyo, 
Uh, sabi ko kay Sister Leonor, panahon na siguro para lumikas tayo. Uh, <laughs> okay? And uh, then, uh, mabuti kayo, madali kayo mag-decide ng uwi. Di ba? Kahit ngayon, pag sinabi nyo, uwi na ako! Bili ka ng ticket. Uwi ka na sa Pilipinas. Kami, hindi kami makapag-decide ng kanun, ganun kabilis kumuwi. Again, iisipin ko muna, pag aalis ako, sino ang mag i sa church, uh, oh, napakaraming iisipin. Sino magbabayad ng mga bills, uh, can you imagine? Kung ako ang mag i uwi bukas. Hello? And so I can't. I can't. Hello? And the burden of responsibility that is over my shoulder, And it seems that the world around us is falling apart. And I want you to understand, it is not going to get better. It is just going to get worse and worse and worse. Now, I'm not saying that there is not going to, there is not going to be a solution to the problem in Hong Kong. There will be. And we are going to pray about that. And we pray natin na magkaroon ng solusyon ng problema dito. Kanya lang, hindi lang yun ang mga bagay na magiging problema namin. Uh, there are many things that are happening around the world. We are a global village. And every one of us is affected, uh, affected by that. And uh, apart from that is our personal world crumbling. And so today, when that happens, what should you do? Amen? And so let's start. Sabi po dyan, uh, I praise and thank the Lord because the promises of God are needed in uh, His Word. And one of my favorite promises is Romans 8.28. And we know that uh, in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. Kasi ang importante, mahal mo ang Diyos. Ang tanong, mahal mo ba siya? Pakitanong nga ang katabi mo, mahal mo pa ba ang Panginoon? If you love the Lord, then you are saved. Hello? If you love the Lord, then you are saved. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him and for those who have been called according to His purpose. Uh, uh, let us not lose the fact na ikaw at ako ay binawag ng Diyos. So kung mahal mo ang Diyos at alam mo na ikaw ay pinawag, you are on the safest place just right where you are. Amen? Amen? Amen. Tapos na po ang mensahe ko. Yun ka. <laughs> Sapat na yun eh, di ba? Yes. But anyway, uh, minsan katulad tayo ng, la, ng uh, taong ito, you gotta keep it together. Because many times, why nagkabuhol-buhol na tayo, hiwa-hiwalay na ang katawan namin. Uh, we don't know our priorities, marriage, kids, money issues. Okay? Marami sa atin may money issues. And then aside from that, rush hour. And then your employer, the boss. Uh, wag na yung car repairs, wala kang sasakyan. And then yung uh, physical uh, problems pa, heartburn, aching joints. Oh, Sister Lino has been uh, complaining a lot of aching joints and never enough time. Amen? And here comes the other picture. Uh, for those of you who are approaching 40 uh, and beyond, that is what you call middle age. It's that time when you finally get your head together. Ito yung panahon na nagmature ka na. And then your body starts falling apart. <laughs> okay? Hallelujah. Uh, sana noong ka pa nagmature, no? Kaya lang, it's that time when you finally get your head together and then your body falls, start falling apart. So it's not only the world around us that is falling apart, it's our body also that is falling apart. Hello? Wow, and it, uh, that is the spelling of disaster. My friends, sometimes when things are falling apart, minsan daw, uh, kung kailan nagpo-fall apart ang maraming bagay, they may actually be falling into place. 
How many of you believe that God is in the middle of every turmoil? Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, God always allows turmoil in our lives because He is correcting something. Yes. Uh, we do not see the picture. And our eyes and our hearts are trained to see uh, the disaster and the negative things that are going on. Because we can't see the positive thing that God is doing. Uh, alam ko na uh, may correction na ginagawa ang Panginoon sa bawat bansa. May correction na ginagawa ang Panginoon sa bawat tao. Uh, the best way to correct that is to make your world fall apart. Because God cannot, cannot fix you if you are not broken. Hello? Uh, isn't that wonderful? God cannot fix you if you are not broken. Because indeed, only broken things are needed to be fixed. If you are not broken, then what is there to fix about you? But I mean of a broken heart. Minsan, kailangan na basagang damdamin dahil requirement yun para it is a requirement for God to fix us when we are broken. That's why God is near to the broken hearted. Okay? So if you are not broken hearted, pray that the Lord will break your heart. Hello? Uh, no, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. There are sometimes, and I many times I, I, I pray like that because I feel that uh, I'm no longer sensitive to the Lord and I begin to pray, Lord, break my heart to the things that break yours. Hello? Minsan, ako ay nanalangin na, Lord, masakit mo ang aking damdami sa mga bagay na bumabasag sa iyo. And many times, we need to ask the Lord for that. I think it takes a lot of maturity and it takes a lot of sensitivity to pray the way I ask you to do. Many times, uh, sanay na tayo, we are, we are spoiled uh, believers. God takes care of us very well. And then we forget Him. And the easiest way for us to get back to God is to be broken. Amen? Uh, alam niyo, pagka broken ka, wala ka naman ibang tatakbungan eh, sa Lord. Hello? Amen. So today, uh, at the outset, I want us to welcome uh, a world that is falling apart. Amen? Uh, sabi nga ni Apostol Pedro, do not be, uh, do not be surprised anymore that these things are happening. Again? Okay? Huwag ka nang magulat na nangyayari mga bagay na katulad na nangyayari sa kapaligiran mo. It has already been prophesied. Okay? Huwag ka rin nagugulat sa mga uh, tukso because uh, they are surely uh, will come uninvited in your life. And so, today, let us welcome adversity and disaster. Let us work on a world that is falling apart. Amen? Amen. Smile, can I <laughs> Okay? So, uh, there are two things. Uh, I will be short today because I wanted to go home early. Uh, there are only two parts of this message. There are only two things. And we are going to cover uh, Psalm 11. The, uh, the first part is beware. The second part is be aware. Do you know the difference? Yes. It is a beware. Alam niyo, pagka may nalagay ka niya na may nakita kang signboard na beware, dangeros yan. Angan? Beware. Okay? And then yung isa naman, be aware. Hindi ko say, it is uh, suggesting that you need awareness of uh, something. Now, you are open and aware that something is about to happen. So, r remember those two words. Beware and be aware. Okay. First part. Beware of the advice of the ungodly. 
Kadalasan, pagka nahihirapan tayo sa mga bagay-bagay sa ating buhay, uh, tumatakbo tayo for advice. And, you know, there are many, many consultants around you. And they are free of charge. Their advice is free. In fact, there are people, hindi ka pa humihingi ng advice, nag advice na sila. Okay? Libre po ang mga consultants ngayon, napakadami nila. Okay? Kung member ka ng DWC, maglagay ka lang doon. Okay? Alam mo yun, pag uh, patipas, itinatanong sa Facebook. Okay? Hello? Lahat na yata ng problema ng OFW, eh, 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 somehow, somehow it is a good thing. But also somehow, it is a bad thing. Because there are, uh, kung minsan may magko-comment sa isang, uh, uh, sa isang uh, problema, lahat siya na marumi ang yung kanilang ano. Yung, di ba, minsan yung plansa, pagka matagal mo na ginagamit, kinakalawang na yung, yung kanyang, uh, ano, yung kanyang stain is steel. Tapos sa hingi ng payo, paano po inatinatanggal ito? Sabi ng isa, asin. Sabi ng isa, toothpaste. Sabi ng isa, suka. Okay. Sabi ng isa, ang dami. And there are almost 200 comments or something. Different. Everyone different. Kung paano lilitisin ang isang maruming lansya. Ngayon po mga ganito, uh, in times when your world seems to fall apart, beware of the advice of the ungodly. Let me tell you the background of this psalm. Psalms chapter 11 is a psalm of David. And David is running away from Absalom. Absalom is his eldest son. And Absalom just committed a codita. You know what a codita is? Yes. Lahat ng Pilipino yata, alam po ano yung kodita. Di ba? Kasi nangyari na sa Pilipinas sa anong muna eh, eh, panahon. Uh, yung word na kodita. Uh, uh, Absalom just took over his father's throne. And here is David be, uh, becoming a fugitive. And while he was running away from his son, his advisors came to him and uh, uh, advising him of what to do. The counselors are telling him uh, to flee like a bird to your mountain. Yun ang uh, sabi niya. In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? Lahat po yata ng advisors, gusto nila, katulad ng uh, gusto nilang mangyari sa kanilang sarili, yung immediate na uh, uh, makapagbibigay sa kanila ng way out. Relief. And uh, sabi po dyan, beware of the advice of the ungodly. In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? Now, in uh, Psalms 1, we know this verse. Pinagpala or masaya ang isang tao na hindi lumalakad ayon sa payo ng hindi makadiyos. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. And I've been a pastor for 38 years already. And many, many, many people do not ask their pastor's advice. Oh, there's a few, yes. And I praise and thank the Lord for those who uh, come to me for advice. In fact, I have a lot of people uh, kung minsan nagtataka ako, kung sino yung nasa malayo, yun ang tumatawag sa akin. Just this week, I received two calls, one from America and the other one from uh, Vietnam, asking for advice. Hello? Which I sell them here from Lifeway. Hello? Are you all okay that you don't need advice? <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, li listen to this. Um, kadalasan, ang hinihinga natin ng advice ay ang hindi makadiyos. Kasi siguro, ang gagawin mo ay isang bagay na ungodly, kaya ang ka kailangan mong advice ay galing sa ungodly. Hello? You understand? Okay. Uh, 
my friends, sabi niya, guard your ears from ungodly advice. Ganito ang gawin mo. Naku, dapat gumanti ka. Ah, uh, the, the advice of the ungodly is always uh, ungodly as well. Hindi maka Diyos. Dahil uh, wala silang takot sa Diyos. Hello? And minsan, hindi lang sa mga bagay na uh, when your world is falling apart, okay, uh, ma- even when times when uh, you are not sure about anything. And minsan, just to uh, be able to uh, remind you to stay on course and maintain your testimony, you need to ask for advice. Especially pag dumanating ang boyfriend mo galing sa U.S. <laughs> Hello? May pa-advise ka. Okay? Baka kailangan mo ng chaperone. Andan lang ako. Hello? Minsan, uh, we are so confident of ourselves that we think we don't need advice. Yes, we do. Amen? Lalo na if you are not sure about yourself. Lalo na if you know in your heart na uh, you are going to uh, fall apart. Nakita mo lang ang mata ng boyfriend mo, wala na nag-fall apart. <laughs> okay? I'll say this again and again and again until uh, you, it will cause you to have this conviction. And uh, I am your pastor. Nobody else is going to tell you this. If you are not married and you are sleeping together, it is fornication. Okay? And what is fornication? Sexual uh, uh, relationship with unmarried people. You understand? I want you to, uh, to know that you are sinning against the Lord when you do that. Ikaw din. Hello? Ikaw din. Gusto mo bang pagbalain ang Panginoon ang marriage mo? Then stay pure until you get married. You understand? Amen. Okay? Pagpila na kayo na. Ikaw din. Beware of ungodly counsel. Many of us have well-meaning friends who are quick to come to our aid when we are facing problems in our lives. While this is indeed good, nevertheless, we must make certain that their advice adheres to God's word and does not contradict it. While it may appear good on the surface, some advice is actually worldly, devilish, are no thinking which works against God's will. So beware. Lalo na, if somebody's going to advise you uh, uh, para matugunan ang uh, problema mo, sige, mangutang ka na. At uh, uh, ako ang mag-garanti sa iyo, hati tayo. <laughs> Hello? Kapatid, that is, I think, an ungodly advice. Uh, kung gumuguho na ang iyong financial world, okay? Uh, kailangan kailangan mo ang pera. Kailangan kailangan ng pera ng iyong mga pamilya sa Pilipinas. Gugulungan ka ng job loss para magitan ng kaibigan mo. Okay? Napakadali yung solusyon sa problema mo. Kumutang ka sa UA, sa public finance. Okay? Tapos na ang problema mo in 30 minutes. Hello? Asamahan kita. Okay? Dalhin mo lang ang iyong passport. Okay? Ako ang paper ma. Okay? Kagarantiyahan kita. Okay? Ikaw naman, gusto mo may isang kaagad ang pressure ng, uh, uh, ng uh, alalahani. Hello? Kaya okay, nagtatalo ang kalawagan mo kasi ilang beses mo na narinig sa akin sa Paul Pitt na huwag kang mangungunta. Mag-uutang ako. Narinig mo kaagad yung uh, boses mo. 
nanginginig yung kamay mo, ha? Kung mumunta kayo sa iyo, eh. Okay? Pero yung damdamin mo, ibinutulang ka, namamungutang ka, dahil pag nangutang ka, tapos na ang problema mo. At least, parang dali ang uh, sagot. Band-aid na minatawag. Hello? Okay? Alam mo na pag sa akin ka humingi ng, uh, ng counsel, nasabing tayo sa iyo, mag-pray muna tayo. Ayaw mo nun. Gusto mo magbilis na katugunan. Kung pwede lang pindutin mo ang isang post mo to at lalabas sa pera. Hello? Hallelujah. Why? Why are we going to guard our ears from ungodly advice? Uh, because it is impulsive. Sabi ng ungodly advice, Look! Okay? The wicked men, their ball balls. They set their arrows against the string to shoot from the shadows of the upright and heart. Now, uh, when you say you are impulsive, okay, uh, you you act on impulse. Okay? Sabi niya, ayan, ayan, um, titirahin ka na ng, 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 ng uh, weekend kahit na ikaw ay upright in heart. And many times we feel we are discouraged at meron po bulong sa atin ay uh, i-set aside mo muna yung pagiging kristyano. Okay? Hello? Pagbigyan mo na yan. Uh, uh, yan boyfriend mo. Ayun lang sa darat eh. Kaya na ulit kayong magkikita. Hello? Okay? Sabi po na, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, Beloved, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Alam niyo, minsan kahit nga Kristiyano, nagbibigay ng godly, ungodly advice. Eh. Naniniwala kayo? Yes. Okay? Kaya nga, sinasabi dito, uh, discern. Napakalaga po ng discernment. Now, kahit hindi ka filled with the spirit, kapatid, may discernment ka. Ang tawag doon ay konsyensya. Ang tawag doon ay common sense. Which is not very common. Hello? Common sense is not very common. Especially if you are in love. Hello? Kaya kailangan ko lagi ng godly advice. We love, believe not every spirit, but try every spirit whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Amen? And so many times, uh, uh, the easy, we always want the easy way out. Nahirapan tayo sa employer parang uh, uh, total naman, kunti lang pinahirap ko sa agency, magdeterminate na ako. Okay? Hallelujah. I don't know about it. It's your decision to make. But, uh, termination is not always the, the solution to your problem. And may mga tao, napakarami ng uh, palit-palit ng employer. Ganun pa rin ang kanilang employer. Okay? Hallelujah. My friends, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Not all opportunities comes from God. Listen to this. Hindi lahat ng opportunidad galing sa Diyos. There are, there are opportunities that are not from God. Amen? And so that's the reason why you need you need godly advice. Now, in, uh, why do we need to guard our ears from ungodly advice, especially during the times when our world is falling apart? Because it is not only impulsive, it is presumptive. Uh, here is the uh, counselor of David. Sinasabi niya, when the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? Kahit na righteous ka pa, kung gumuho na ang pundasyon, ang pamagagawa mo. And so here is the ungodly advice. It is very discouraging. Uh, it, it, it presumes that uh, the righteous cannot do anything anymore. It presumes that God cannot do anymore in, a, in our situation. Now, let me tell you something. God can do everything. 
May magagawa ang Diyos. Pakibulong mo sa katabi mo. May magagawa ang Diyos. May solusyon siya. May solusyon siya. Okay? Kahit na ang pundasyon mo ay wasak na, uh, the Lord can again refill those foundations. And by the way, we have only one foundation. And His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. is the Lord Jesus Christ that can never be destroyed. So keep a positive mindset, especially during tough times. Amen? So, uh, I, I, I like that lady na nakita niya sa, sa Facebook yung kanyang uh, tulugan. Yung kanyang kama nasa tabi ng toilet bowl. Okay? Sabi niya, it gives me the incentive to clean the toilet bowl as clean as I can. And as as uh, uh, odorless as I can. Bakit? Kasi ito na ako gusto tulog eh. Okay? So, sabi naman ng maraming nag-post, ay napaka walang hiya ng amo ko. Napaka. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, there is a barrage of ungodly advice, but terminate ka na ang um, sumbong mo sa ano, ganito, ganyan. Alam niyo kapatid, minsan, uh, uh, there are just times that we need to keep our mouth shut. Hindi mo alam kung ano ang nangyayari sa pamamahay na yun. Okay? Hallelujah. Sabi naman niya, okay lang. Bait naman yung amo ko. Talaga lang, wala silang kwarto. Eh, saan ako matutulo? Okay? Hallelujah. False hopes are more dangerous than fears. Okay? Ang pagbibigay ng uh, uh, maling uh, pag-asa or uh, false, uh, hindi totoong pag-asa ay worse pa daw, more da dangerous than fears. And that is by uh, J.R. Tolkien. Anyway, that brings us to the second. Uh, be aware of God's sovereignty. Now, in times like this, magulo ang mungko. Isang bagay lang, nais ko na iuwi natin ngayong uh, uh, araw na ito. Pag sinabi natin na aware tayo sa God's sovereignty, ang isa lang ibig sabihin nun, we know that God is in control. Amen! How many of you believe, really, 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 that God is in control of your life? Amen! And here is something that I want you to learn. Even if you are not in control of your life. Because many of us cannot control ourselves. God is in control Amen. of you. Amen. Amen. Isn't that a comforting thing? Yes. Dahil ikaw ay alam ng Diyos, nasa control ka ng Diyos. Again? Kasi na, sabi ng ating uh, unang verse, all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to His purpose. Ah, uh, nani ka ba talaga na ikaw ay tinawag ng Dios? Amen. Kung ikaw ay tinatawag ng Dios, God is sovereign in your life. Amen? Amen. In spite of the many wrong decisions that we make, in spite of the many many things that uh, are contrary to His will, uh, still God is in complete control of our life. God is in complete control of Hong Kong. Can we say that? Amen. And so, be aware of God's sovereignty. Here is the response of David. Sabi ni David, the Lord is in His holy temple. Can you imagine that? Sabi ni David, ang Panginoon ay nasa kanyang banal na templo. The Lord is on His heavenly throne. Again, it is not the devil that is on His heavenly throne. Okay? Nobody occupies the throne and the Lord is still seated on the throne. 
And He directs the universe. Ang inaalala lang natin, itong hongko, pabilyo natin. But every creation, the whole universe, is under the care of God. Amen. He takes care of it. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. Amen? Na nanonood ako ng Diyos kung ano nangyayari sa buong sanlibutan. At uh, sinasaligsik niya sila. He examines them. Now, let's talk about sovereignty. The sovereignty of God is the biblical teaching that all things are under God's rule and control. Regardless, if things are not happening right or there is chaos or whatever, and that nothing happens without His direction or permission. Okay? Wala lang nangyayari na walang permiso. Ang, ang Diyos. Ay malaking sabihin na ang lingkong na nangyari sa Southern Mindanao ay, uh, ay may permission ng Panginoon. I believe so. God works not just some things but all things according to the counsel of His own will. And that's according to Ephesians 1.11. His purposes are all inclusive and never thwarted. Okay? Wala makakapigil sa mga layunin ng Diyos. And nothing takes him by surprise. Hindi na nasusurprise sa ang Diyos kung may nangyayari. Can you imagine kung ang Diyos natin ay laging nasusurprise? Or can you imagine kung ang Diyos natin ay gitla, hindi lagi siya gano'n na gano'n. Diba? Maaaring ikaw ay ay paniki. Paniki. But the Lord is never in panic mode. He knows everything before it happens. Hello? And so nothing takes him by surprise. The sovereignty of God is not merely that God has the power and right to govern. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng sovereign, kinagamit lang ito sa hari, the right to rule. Okay? Uh... And the sovereignty of God is not merely that God has the power and right to govern all things, but that He does so always without exception. Lagi siya ay namumuno. In other words, God is not merely sovereign de jure. Wow. French yun na. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin po ng de jure, God is not merely sovereign in principle but sovereign de facto in the impact oh. <laughs> it is sovereign in practice ah memorize mo yan at least may pagkaya naman ka na okay at least nagsagad yung uh, vocabulary mo na si Lord hindi lang siya sovereign in principle in principle or sa prinsipyo but he is sovereign in practice ginagawa niya. Amen? So, ah, kapatid, huwag kang katulad ng isang Pilipina, ah, sabi niya, hala, hala, nandito na sila ilan sa ilalim ng aming building nag, nag, uh, nag-uprotest, hala, hala, hala. <laughs> Para bang magbabago ang situation sa kakahalala, hala, hala. Okay? Hello? <laughs> God is sovereign even over the unstructured and chaotic aspects of our lives. Amen. I thank God because He is in complete control. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine if you are in control? Wow! Naka-stress kaya lagi pagka ikaw ang control. Ay yung mga controlling na tao, lagi stress niya. Hello? Kaya kinokontrol mo yung asawa mo, kinokontrol mo yung anak mo, kinokontrol mo yung... Okay? Can you imagine? Lagi kang uptight. Kasi yun yung pili ito. Okay? Let loose. Let God take full control. Kasi may magagawa ka ba? May magagawa ka ba sa anak mo kung maglukos yan? Wala naman. Layo mo kaya? 
Ilang libong milya kaya ang layo. Eh magagawa ka ba kung maglolo ko asawa mo? Alam ka? Pero may alam ako na may magagawa. And his name is Jesus Christ. Let him take full control of everything. How do you do that? In prayer. You just have to tell the Lord, Lord, wala akong magagawa eh. Okay? Magagawa ko lang kung kaya. Yeah, you can do that. Para lang maibsan ang damdamin mo. Okay? I believe, I believe if we are going to exercise this, I believe if we are going to do this, we are more, uh, we will be happier. Okay? Sabi niya, when things seem to be flying apart or falling apart in chaos, God is still in control. Ah, uh, minsan pagka pinututukan mo yung nangyayari sa sentral, okay, ay wala talagang, uh, para bang wala ng pag-aasa. Okay? And uh, pagka uh, katulad mo ako, na mahilig ako magbasa ng mga news, uh, 60% of the tourists have already gone. Tama po. They are losing billions actually in revenue. Okay? Uh, the NPR station is losing a lot this year. And the many other businesses uh, are losing a lot. In fact, the uh, economic uh, outlook has been downturned already. The ratings uh, institution have downgraded Hong Kong already. Uh, Hong Kong is the envy of the world when it comes to business. Ang rating nila is A, A, A plus. Today is A, A, B. So downgraded na siya. Uh, and it seems to me that, wow, your prospect, eh, ano magtataka ka? Ang uh, hindi pa rin na, na tumitigil ang aming airport ministry kasi sandaan pa rin ang dumadating ng mga Pilipinas araw-araw. Yes. Ang mga in-check, papaalis na sa... mobile phone mo, user friendly. Bakit siya user friendly? Kahit hindi mo basahin yung manual, wala naman nagbabasa ng manual dito. Eh. Ipon ka lang ng pinto. Hanggang sa matutunan mo. Kasi na, user friendly siya. Ang sobrang nang tinapangin noon pagka uh, uh, aware ka sa sobrang tinapangin noon kung ikaw ay righteous, friendly siya sa'yo. Amen? Amen? magaan para sa iyo. Tingnan mo yung batang yan. Okay? The sovereignty of God is a sweet pillow to rest your head. Kung alam mo na si Lord is in control of your life, you can sleep well. Hello? Yeah. Eh, kahit na mapungang ay employer mo, Lord, you are in complete control. I am here because of your purpose. I am here because you sent me here, I am here because you answered my prayer. I am not going to be affected by my circumstances. I sleep well tonight. Amen. Hello? Can you for once just let go lang? <laughs> and let the Lord have His way? How many of you believe the Lord cares about you? How many of you believe that the Lord is concerned about you? Yes. Then if you, if you remind yourself uh, over and over that God is concerned about you, that God is in complete control of your world that is falling apart, then you sleep well. Okay? Hello? 
Pero pagkada tutulog ka na, ang iniisip mo lagi, anong bagay ko nang magbukas. Isip na buhay ito. Hindi ka patagal dahil. Alam? I like snowbeat, he tells us, let it go. Heart shape yung balon niya, bakit kaya? One of the happiest moments in life is when you find the courage to let go of what you cannot change. How many of you really believe that you can help change something that is going on in Hong Kong? You cannot change it by posting. And my friends, please, 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 huwag magkuha ng picture ng mga professors. Okay? If you are doing that just because you want to gain likes, it is going to counterproductive siya. You understand? And you might be putting your life at risk. Okay? So don't do that. Bakit kailangan mong picturean siya? Tapos, oh, ito na nangyayari, oh. Para mag wala kami kalam-alam. Ano? Bakit pa rin wala tayo nasa home mo? Do not need to inform me lang. Hello? Huwag kang makisawsaw sa problema na hindi mo problema. Really, really, really. You and I are bystanders here. You and I cannot even say who is right and who is wrong. Yes. Keep your mouth shut. Ah! Ask for prayer, yes. Amen? Yes. And uh, begin to ask your friends in the Philippines, elsewhere, please pray for Hong Kong. Yes. That's the only thing and the most uh, uh, reasonable thing that you and I can do. Amen? Amen. Anything else? We cannot. Okay? Kasi the yuha tayo dito, bisita lang tayo dito. Okay? Akita ka naman ang bisita na pumunta sa inyong pamamahay at nakialam. Hello? Bakit ganito ang inihayin mo sa akin? Okay? Thank God, but I have it under control. It's a need to tell you. We do not want the God to be in control of our lives, so we carry our problems uphill. Okay? So we move. Thanks God. Okay, lang Lord, I have it under control. No, you're not. Hello? Bakit mo pa pasine niyo yung life's burden? And ito pa ang isa. Huwag hindi mo problema. Huwag mong problema yun. Hindi mo anak. Huwag mong paanak yun. Hindi naman ikaw nagbuti. Bakit ikaw ang magpapanak? Hello? Yan yung ginawa nila yun. Hindi naman sila nagpaalam sa'yo. Kanya gagawa kami ng day. Hindi ha. Ikaw ang magpapanak. I find that fascinating and confusing. Ayaw pa sa public hospital, gusto pa private. Hello? And please, 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 do not usurp a responsibility that is not yours. Hindi po kasalanan ang magsabi ng no. Sabihin ng kapatid mo, paralin mo yung anak ko. Oh? Tulog ka? Hindi ko anak niya. Alam mo yan. Minsan, nagdidiman ang mga mga ano natin sa Pilipinas, you have the right to say no. Hindi po masama ang tumulog. Kaya alam mo kung ako din ang isang responsibilidad na hindi sa'yo. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang ganon. Okay? Let us rub our life. Release those burdens you were never intended to carry. Right? You know, 
sabi na na Psalms 23 and the promise of Psalms 23 according to Maxim of Padre. Now, you and I are supposed to travel light. Amen? Now, every time a week of his Filipinas, yung aking uh, maleta is one-fourth of Leonor's maleta. <laughs> I travel light. You understand? Hello, can you imagine if my luggage is the same luggage as hers? And you know that she doesn't expect to carry her own luggage. <laughs> <laughs> when the luggage is full, she expects me to carry it. <laughs> so, mabuti na lang yung luggage ko maliit. Palit kami, pagkati namin lang, kasi yung maliit na mo, ang gagawa ng malaki. Now, in, in, in the world where we are living now, let us reduce the weight. Amen? Uh, simple living and all that. Again? Hallelujah. You know this, some of you have bigger bags than you are. Ang bag daw ng sumabay is misterioso. Lahat may ata ng lado yung pagsulaksan niya, lado lahat. Again? Okay, so sabi dyan, the, uh, the, the sovereignty of God is righteous, friendly. Akatulog ka ng maayos and it helps if you will let go and it helps if you are not going to carry them and you travel. Amen? And please, do not meddle on other people's problems. Dahil mo ng problema, kapatid. Problema mo ng amo mo, problema mo ang pamilya mo, problema mo ang time mo, tapos kukulungmahin mo pa ang problema, di ba? Okay? Hallelujah. No wonder. Again, you are stressed and your work is falling apart. Let the Lord take control. Amen. Amen. Now, to the unrighteous, ugly. On the weekend, the, uh, the, he will rain fiery coals and burning so far. A scorching wind will be their light. Now, minsan, uh, the language of the scripture is so, uh, is so harsh for us. But this is exactly what uh, David knew about the weekend. He will rain fiery coals. The judgment of the wicked is hell, burning so forth. A scorching wind will be their lot. Now, let us quote it mildly in Proverbs 10, 28. It says there, The prospect of the righteous is joy, but the hope of the wicked comes to nothing. Amen? And so, ang prospect natin is joyous. Uh, sige lang, Lord, mahirap ang kalagayan ko ngayon, but I know you are in control of my life. I know, matatapos din ito, I know, magbabago din ang lahat. Yun ang prospect na righteous. Pero ang prospect ng wicked is going to come to nothing. Amen? So, it is a mindset. We go a righteous, you know that God is going to intervene. When circumstances are very bad, pagod na pagod ka na, and then saka patatawag yung pamilya mo sa Pilipinas, takot na pagod na pagod ka na. The world is falling apart. Ang demand ng employer mo to the roof. Okay? I just want you to pause a little bit and begin to pray and say, God, take over my circumstances. Amen. And He will. How many of you believe the Lord still answers prayer? Amen. He does. Amen? Amen? He does. Now, 
how can you know when you are trusting in man rather than in God? If you fall apart when someone else lets you down, or if the actions of others affect your walk with God, then you know you are living on the arms of flesh. Kaya kapatid, kung nadi-discourage ka, uh, especially when someone lets you down, or uh, kung yung mga uh, kilos at galaw ng iba ay nakaka-apekto sa iyong paglakad kasama ang Diyos, then alam mo sa sarili mo na ikaw ay uh, kumikiling sa isang uh, 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 kamay ng, uh, ng laman or minigsay ng tao. Uh, hindi ko rin titiwala sa Diyos. Okay? And so, my friends, uh, we, let us practice this to let God do His work. To let God be in control of circumstances. Yes? May gagawin mo pa rin. Okay? But yung tandangin ba na nagtitiwala sa Diyos, kalahati na ng kabingatan ay nawala. Okay? Bakit? Always, it is a battle of our mind. Hello? The battle is always here. If you think you can, because the Lord is your helper, then you can. If you think you can't because it is too much, then you can. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Justice is priority. For the Lord is righteous. He loves Yes, yes. Okay? Uh, pagka ang Diyos ay matuwid, okay, nakikita niya ang mga tao na nagbihin, eh, hindi makatuwiran sa'yo. And lagi, lagi natin inaakusuhan ang ating employer na hindi makatuwiran uh, unfair labor practice. The Lord hates unfair labor practice. Alam ni Lord, kung hindi ka pinasasahura ng maaga, The Lord knows if your 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 salary is delayed. The Lord knows if your employer is uh, you know uh, exacting uh, your number of hours to work. And many times the main complaint that we have is uh, people not sleeping very well or or less sleep and too much work to carry on. But God is the God of justice. Uh, 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 si Lord ay ang, ang kahuli-hulihan mustisya. Alam niya ang kanyang ginagawa. And will He not avenge you? How many of you believe na ipagtatanggol ka ng mga ito? Yes! So huwag kang mareklamo. Kasi pag kang mareklamo ka, pinagtatanggol mo ang sarili mo, di ba? E eh, paano ka ipagtatanggol ng Diyos kung ipinagtatanggol mo na ang sarili mo? Oh, maybe you need to stand firm on what is right. Okay? And many of you, uh, uh, kadalasan, hindi natin ipinaglalaban yung ating uh, sariling right. Okay? Pagka day off mo, day off mo. Isabihin ko lang sa employer mo, I'm not going to do that. It's my day off. Kaya natakot ka, siyempre. Takot ka matter with it. Di ba? Eh, it's either of two things. Pagbibigyan mo siya, or ipaglalawin mo ang iyong and iyong right. Di ba? Or, pasabihin ko sa Panginoon, Lord, uh, uh, bigyan mo ako ng wisdom kung paano ko sasabihin sa employer ko na dapat palabasin niya ako ng maaga dahil pay off ko ngayon. Na hindi ko yan nasusulot ng isang prayer lang. Minsan, you need to you need to claim that over and over again without fear of being terminated. Hello? Because God is a God of justice. Amen. Okay? He does, he, the Lord is not for unfair labor practice, but sometimes you need to stand on what is right without fear of being terminated. Ay, paano pa, na lang, Pastor, kung matermine mo po? Eh, si Lord pa rin. Siya ang mahala, binibigyan ka niya ng panibago. 
employer. Alone. Amen. Amen. Eh, kung gusto mo magbago ang nga, minsan reklamo tayo na reklamo, yung ama ko, ganito, ganito, ganyan. Kaya lang ikaw mismo, hindi mo pinaglalaban yung iyong katuloy. Minsan ikaw mismo, hindi mo pinaglalaban kung ano yung tama. Gusto mo na si pastor ang tatawag sa employer mo. Gusto mo na ibang tao ang pagsasabi para sa iyo. Hindi ko yan. Ikaw. Ikaw ang tatay. Diba? Remain strong when things fall apart. Be patient. Good things take time. Ang mga ganun ba? Ganun take time. Again? And uh, I don't know how uh, you're going to take this, but uh, I want you to understand whatever happens, God is in control. Amen. And uh, Matermine ko man mo hindi, God is in control. Amen. And alam nila na kanyang nagagawa. How many of you believe na kaya-kaya baguhin ng Panginoon ang damdami ng employer mo? Amen! How many of you believe na kaya baguhin ng Panginoon ang circumstances mo? Amen! And I believe this with all of my heart. Yes. Ako naniniwala dito sa sasabihin ko sa inyo na ito. Hindi kalooban ng Panginoon na nahihirap ko ka. Amen! ang katugunan noon nasa iyo lang. Amen? Amen. Uh, ang katugunan noon nasa iyo. Uh, kailangan humingi ka ng wisdom sa Panginoon. Lord, sasabihin mo sa kanya, alam ko, alam ko na ikaw ay Diyos ng hostesya. Okay? And because ikaw ay Diyos ng hostesya, alam mo ang nangyayari sa pamamahay na ito. Kaya, Ah, kapatid, gandahan mo ang sumbong sa Panginoon. <laughs> It is you and God reasoning together. And how many of you believe? Minsan yung prayer natin hindi, hindi tama eh. Okay? Kaya bago ka mag-pray, isipin mo muna, ito pa kalooban ng Panginoon at kung nangyayari sa akin, pagay ko hindi eh. Ayaw ng Panginoon ako nahihirapan. Okay? So, bigyan ka ng uh, wisdom ng Panginoon. Okay, ganito ang gagawin mo. Uh, pati oras ng pagsasabi at paraan ng pagsasabi, kailangan na tama. Hello? Huwag ka magsasabi sa employer mo, dala dala mo yung pagsilyo at sasabi mo, Wala! Pagkakusap <laughs> tayo ngayon. Okay? Okay, o yung tono ng boses. Ha? O yung panahon. Huwag mo kakausapin yung employer mo kagagaling sa opisina. <laughs> Tate maa na kapatid. <laughs> eh, kailangan mo ng wisdom, di ba? Hello? Kailangan mo ng wisdom. But you need to talk. You need to persuade. Siya, pwede ba? Wish ko lang. Hangin ko lang. Pwede ba na Uh, hindi mo ako ng uh, tamang oras ng aking day off. Okay. My friends, uh, the Lord is a God of justice and He He is the Lord of justice. He is fair. Amen? Ayaw niya, nalangigirapang ka. And so, when your world is falling apart, two things. Beware of ungodly advice. Second, Hallelujah. Be aware that God is in control. Amen. Amen. Okay. There is one more verse here. In Psalms 91, verse 5 to 8, you shall not. Be afraid of the terror by night, nor, the, uh, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand will fall on your side, and a thousand on your right hand, and it is not going to come near you. 
Only with your eyes will you look and see the reward of the wicked. Alay mo yun? Isang libo ang malalaglag sa iyong tabi, sampung libo sa iyong kanang kamay. Kung hindi siya makakalapit sa iyo, ang mga mata mo lang ang makakakita sa ganti ng mga or sa um, reward ng mga masasama. Hindi ka dapat natatakot sa terror sa gabi. Sa araw. Ang lumilipad sa araw. Or sa peste na lumalakad sa adilinan. Or sa mga pag-uwasa sa katakalim. My friends, the Lord is with you. When your world is falling. Amen. Would you close your eyes with me? Ikaw ay naririto at alam mo na gumubuho ang mundo mo sa iyong paligid. Ikaw ay naririto at alam mo na gumubuho ang iyong mga pangarap. O ikaw ay naririto at alam mo na gumubuho ang iyong mga pamilya. O ikaw ay naririto at gumubuho ang lahat sa iyo. Relationship mo sa employer mo. Ikaw ay narito kung gumubuho ang iyong finances. Isa lang na ang katulbo ng kapatid. Nais kong malaman ko. The Lord is still in complete control of your life. You just have to acknowledge it. Ikaw ay nagkasala ang bigay ng tawad sa Panginoon. Ikaw ay narito at kailangan mo ng tulong lumapit ka sa kanya. Ilalamin mo siya na sovereign Lord of your life. Hallelujah. Iwasan mo ang pakinig sa ungodly advice. Balikan mo at salita ng Diyos. Siya ang mag-a-advise sa iyo. Lahat ng problema ng buhay ay may katugunan ang kanyang mga salita. Lahat ng ating mga struggles in life ay may sinasabi ang salita ng Diyos. Hallelujah. If you are real right now and you know and you understand that the Lord is calling you to acknowledge a sovereign siya sa buhay mo. Alam mo kapatid, in just a twinkling of an eye, your destiny, your circumstances will change. Because the Lord is good. And so this morning, whoever you are, sino ka man na nahihirapan, sino ka man na Nagugulubihan ang sino pa man na ang pakaramdam mo ay kasama kang umuguho ng lahat ng ito. Kailangan mo na tuto. You need to cry, Lord, save me. Lord, help me. Lift up your hands, whoever you are, right now, right now. I'm going to pray for you. Tayo po yung manalangin, tayo po yung manalangin. Panginoon, ikaw na nagtaas ng kamay, sumunod ka sa aking panalangin. Lord, I need your help. Say it. Lord, I need your help. Lord, kailangan ko ng tulong mo. Lord, I need your help. The world around me is crumbling. My hopes are gone. Lord, nawawalan ako ng lakas, nawawalan ako ng pag-asa, nawawalan ako, Panginoon, ng tulong. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang aking gagawin. Lord, ako po ay narito. Wala akong masabi. Wala akong magawa. Lord, kapos ako Panginoon sa lahat ng bagay. Lord, Ikaw lang. Ikaw lang ang makapagbabago ng sitwasyon. Ikaw lang ang makapagbabago ng aking buhay, Panginoon. Lord, lumalamit ako sa iyo sapagkat I need your help. I need your help with my family. I need your help with my employer. I need your help with my loved ones, my 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 daughter, my son. I need your help, Lord, with my husband. I need your help, Lord. Lord, I need your help. Malipas sa iyo ay wala na ako alam pa na makakatulong sa akin. Nasabihin mo sa kanya, Lord, patawad po. 
o ako man ay nagkasala, o ako man ay naligaw, kung ang aking desisyong kinawa ay hindi. Patawad, Panginoon. Ituwid mo ang aking landas. O pangalang sa ganun, Panginoon, muli akong magkaroon ng kagalaman para sa iyo. Lord, salamat po. Salamat po sa kamila ng aming failure. You are still there. You are in control. You are in control. Because you love me and you care about me. And so Lord, I give you my life once again. I give you my the circumstances of my life once again. Thank you, Lord. I will trust you. You are sovereign. You love justice. Panginoon, ikaw, ikaw ang magtatayo ng mustisya para sa atin. You will be my defender. You will be my Lord. Because you are my God. Kapatid, ako nalang mananalangin para sa iyo. Panginoon, sa ngalan ni Jesus, bigyan mo ng kagaanan. Bigyan mo ng way out. Lord, I pray that everyone who feels and who knows and who understands that the world around them is falling apart. Lord, give them grace right now. Give them uh, courage right now. Give, me, give them strength right now in the name of Jesus. Panginoon, sa ngalan ni Jesus, magkaroon sila ng palibagong laas na nanggagaling sa iyo, palibagong pag-aasa. And Lord, hallelujah, salamat sa kagalaan na nanggagaling sa banal na spiritus pagkatalam namin na ikaw ang may kontrol ng lahat ng bagay sa iyo ay isinusubo namin ang bawat isa. Sa iyo ay isinusubo namin ang aming mga desisyon sa buhay. Sa iyo, Panginoon, ikaw, ikaw ang mamumuno. Ikaw, Lord, because you are sovereign. You are Lord of our lives. Lord, I just commit each and every one to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.